Hello, Internet friends. I'm Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, and I'm very excited to share with you today's video, day number 10 in Chief Architect X15. We're going to talk about sky models. Yes, daytime and nighttime sky models where you can move the sun, add stars, and move the moon. Let's get into this one. So I have set up where I've placed a north arrow and I've placed a sun angle with latitude and longitude and date and time, etc. Um, and I'm going to go into my rendering here. And with this toolbar set up, I have where I can adjust lights, obviously adjust sunlight and I'm using the sun angle if available, and it's available since I set it uh, at 1 p.m. If I click on this move sun, which you can also get to under 3D lighting and moves sun, Chief will say, hey, to use this, this move sun tool, the generic sun must be in use, have the sun follows camera setting disabled, and be, the sun must be toggled on. One or more of these criteria are not currently met. Would you like all of these conditions to be set so you can move the sun with the mouse? If you click yes, Chief will change all of those, um, all of those criteria so that we can move the sun around. Right now, the shadows are shown here. So if I click yes, I'm gonna get a new icon, the sun icon, and with the map, mouse, I can drag and I can move the sun around and you can see the shadows change. Now, you can move it all around and in one place, I thought I could actually see the sun. I'm going to escape and rotate. I thought I could see the sun in the sky. Maybe it's because I have my white background. I, if I, let's see, toggle, adjust sunlight. I'm using the generic sun. You'll see it, it turned off. The sun follows the camera. And it's just what the mouse is doing is just setting up this angle and direction angle. Now, let's do toggle sunlight. I right clicked on this and toggled my sunlight and I still can move the sun around. I can't move the moon yet. Let's get into moving the moon. I'm going to go into the um, edit active view, which you can get to by tools, active view, edit active view, and go to the backdrop. I'm going to use a generated sky now. And uh, the backdrop color, let's change, let's leave it as white. And now let's go, let's go back to toggle the sun daylight and now you get this generated sky at the horizon check out the last video for this terrain to horizon now if i move the sun around yes there i see the sun when i have the generated sky that was the trick for seeing the sun okay now let's go to nighttime toggle sunlight and now I can move the moon around, but that is not as intense. So let's edit this active view again. And we're not going to use the sunlight. We're going to backdrop. There we go. 
generated sky, star density, starlight intensity. I increase this and increase some density here. You can start seeing stars up here. Moon intensity, let's uh, increase the moon luminance, say to 5,000. And we'll do one lux. Play around with some of these. Let's move the moon around. Where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. You can see the moon in your night sky. Let's go back and change some of that. Um, so I go into my perspective full overview specification and into the backdrop. This is a new panel for the camera view. Um, moon intensity. Moon luminance, let's say 2500.5, back to what it was. Angular radius, let's drop this down. Point, point 0.5. And there it's, there you can see the moon a little more realistic. Uh, let's make that a 0.75. Oops. And I'm going to go to my orbit tool. As I move this around, that, that moon's going to move around in the... Um, I'm not moving the moon. It's just I'm moving the camera view, the perspective of that. So that's a fun little uh, addition here. Go to the... Active view the camera specification and click on backdrop and use the generated sky is the trick to that. So we've got sun that you can move around the sun uh, during daytime. Well, with the generated sky, you can you can move the moon here, but um, you just won't see it until you turn off toggle the sunlight. Move the sun tool. Oh, to move the sun though, you must be in uh you must be in daylight in order to move the sun around. All right. That's a fun, fun new feature in Chief Architect X15. Thanks so much for following along in this series. If you like this, uh please click like and subscribe. Leave comments below. I enjoy the participation. Until next time, do take care.